There's no radio around, but for some reason you can clearly hear the voice from the radio. It's exactly the same as the voice you heard in the grocery store. Why are you being reprimanded? Because you did a bad job, of course. Why would anyone scold you otherwise? Why are you being reprimanded? Because you did a bad job, of course. Why would anyone scold you otherwise? Shouldn't you reflect after offending others? So you're wrong. Shouldn't you reflect after offending others? You're wrong. Don't you understand? You didn't even realize you did something wrong. That's why you're wrong. Don't you understand? You didn't even realize you did something wrong. That's why you're wrong. That's what you're meant to be. Without me, you're nothing. No, but now she's getting into the real Yandere category. That's, That's what, what you're, you're meant, meant to be. be. Without, Without me, you're, you're nothing. nothing. The strange figures who block you just now are closing in from both sides, chatting along with the radio, converging on you. Why obey? The majority is always right. The loudest voice is always right. The highest rank is always right. My voice is always right. Why obey? The majority is always right. The loudest voice is always right. The highest rank is always right. My voice inferior, clumsy, ugly, awful. Inferior, clumsy, ugly, awful. One of the things that I like is that they are technically approaching our character and that's why the voices are increasing in the... Uh, what is it called? Pitch? No, not pitch. Amplitude? Because of uh, them getting closer, which is very interesting. That's what you all are. Don't question anything. Don't doubt anything. If it exists, then it's justified. The loudest voice is always correct. This kind of reminds me of, uh, what was his name, Henry Kissinger? He kind of reshaped the American policy where it went from like somewhat about like being in the right to more around like making things turn around in such a way that you're always in the right. And it's like, so basically what he did was make it the policies like what about we are only here for american interest yeah so if a dictator is against us then that's a bad dictator and if a dictator is with us then that's a good dictator and um so it's the idea of the strong being correct as you have might have heard in history lining something like the victor writes the history so basically that's what this is it feels like uh She's saying basically that she is the strongest, so henceforth she gets to say, do whatever. Hmm, interesting. I wonder what would have happened if he had immediately hung up as soon as we picked it up, but it probably would have ended up with the same because uh, she could read our mind. That's, That's what, what you all are. are. Don't, Don't question, question anything. anything. Don't doubt anything. If it exists, then it's justified. The loudest voice is always correct. Now that I think about it, maybe, maybe she did not read our mind. Maybe because when we, once we picked up the phone, we entered her dimension, only then she could read our mind. If you can't speak, your voice is useless. The redundant, ugly, clumsy should not exist in this world. Just give it to me. Is she talking about fascism? Hmm. It's kind of like Hitler had the idea that, you know, people with uh, deformities and stuff like that, like major um, deformities, like they should be removed from the genetic pool sort of thing. I mean, he took the killing route rather than just blocking them from conceiving route, but whatever. 
So I think that might be what she is talking about. She's a Nazi. That's an interesting development. The passerbys repeat the words from the radio faster and faster, louder and louder. You're being watched, guided by their strange consciousness. Feel your brain starting to spin. The oxygen seems to thin out as they gather, making it hard to breathe. No, no, why? Why should I chant? Oh, it's seriously affecting him, huh? Why should I admit that I am... The moment you fall backwards, a pair of hands reaches out to hold you steady. A pain in your wrist clears your mind. If you want to live, chant with them. Huh. It's another sinner, it seems. What happened? We're getting into combat. In this battle, enemies have a television that comes with buffs. Tap and hold to view the TV's buff and try to deal some damage to it. What is the buffs? Increase the energy recovery rate, defense, magic, oh wow, it's a pretty good buff actually. I'll see you guys after the combat. Oh, something apparently happened. Dear Chief, see the TV in the battlefield, they can bring you buffs, buff effects, uh, but they will switch to the enemy's side when destroyed. Um, the buff effect on the enemy side is the same as on your side, isn't it so fair? I hope you can protect your TV in the battle, turning the enemy's TV into yours is also an option. There will be more types of TVs in the battlefields afterwards as well as enemy skills linked to the TV. Enjoy this mechanism and fight well, my dear chief. I hate these because I have to use my brain in these, but unfortunate, we'll have to do. Alright, victory. So let us move on to 1, 2, 3. What was the first one? 0, 2, 3 or something? Night 1. Streamer girl. Authorities with aliens head they, alien heads, they keep repeating the broadcast messages and attempt to attack you who remain unassimilated. At a crucial moment, a girl who shows up and comes to your rescue. You can move around in the city a little bit. Looks very pixely. I love it. And it looks so good. Can I zoom? What the hell was that? Oh, I can zoom in. Pretty cool, actually. Let's go into this one. My voice is always right, you should listen to me, what I tell you is good. Inferior, clumsy, ugly, awful. That's what you all are, don't question anything, don't doubt anything. If it exists, then it's justified, the loudest voice is always correct. Discard the wrong ideas, repeat the most beautiful words just like me. Yes, don't stop, keep walking and talking. You chant along with them to the radio without stopping. Seeing this, the strange figure finally stops staring at you, leave you alone. Hmm. Just like that, a petite girl leads you hand in hand to a place where the lights aren't so bright. <sighs> that was terrifying. I thought we were both going to die back there. The petite girl lets go of you and pats her chest dramatically. Hey, say something. Say, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Why would I say that? You are, are you really a normal person? Of course I'm normal! Look at my head! I suppose. She's a streamer A-class, I believe. I think so. You know what's funny? Is that um, B-class sinners are like grunts. They are stronger than corruptors, but not too strong. They have difficulty dealing with boss monsters. Um, a-class sinners are fucking strong, and they are far above like entire teams even. S-class sinners are like a variety. S-class sinner could just be super OP A-class sinners, or S-class sinners would, com would be completely reality bending creatures who could heal any dangerous wound, would send you into some fucking la la land and shit like that. They're fucking insane. Stare at her. See? I'm a human, right? Well, you seem to be. Uh, wait. How did you adapt so quickly? What is that supposed to mean? I broke down for an hour before I finally got it. 